They call me mellow yellow. Quite frankly. Welcome. We are Two Finger Spirits. We've got the camera shot camera guy. I'm back here. I'm Brandon. Is there a live studio audience today? Ooh, I like it. Today we're tasting mellow corn. You know, this is bottled in bond. It looks terrible. Looks terrible? Uh, Come on. It looks terrible. You don't like yellow? Nothing about that looks appealing. But maybe looks can be deceiving. Let's find out. Let's find out. Like so it. tell me about this mellow corn bottled in bond. There's a nice two-finger pour for you, buddy. Oh, man. See? You start talking trash about the whiskey. <laughs> Screw cap. Screw that cap. <laughs> huh? Mellow corn, right? So this is from Heaven Hill? Yeah, you stole my line. Well. Heaven Hill is the distillery. Um, it is a straight corn whiskey. But it's 90% corn, right? Uh, the mashed bill is 90% corn, 10% rye and malted barley. So how do you call it a straight corn whiskey if it's not straight corn? Well, straight means it's, I believe, from one distillery is all straight really means, right? Uh, I don't know. I just thought, to me, that it'd be like, it's all corn and nothing more than corn. No, I think it's, cause it's the fact that it's straight means it's from one distillery. If it was blended, it'd be blended from multiple distilleries, I think. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. MSRP? How much? $12. What? Ew. Make you holla. $12. You think we're going to drink this? Yeah. Oh, well. You know, we did the Rittenhouse. That was 15 That was a rye. And that one wasn't that bad. That is screw cap. I like that. It, I got the, it tasted like a fruit cup. That's by far the best budget rye, that Rittenhouse rye, if you're on a severe budget. Perhaps. You know what kind mm. of barrels they put this in? Well, I would say charred new oak, right? Doesn't have to be charred. Why not? And it doesn't have to be new. Why? This is not a bourbon or a rye. Straight corn whiskey. So it has to just be at least 80% corn in a smash bill, I believe, to be a straight corn whiskey. Okay. And this is done in used Heaven Hill barrels. He so, Heaven Hill barrels. So once they like? use the... Yeah, once they use the barrels for something that they really like, they're like, hey, what are we going to do with all these barrels? Yeah. We're going to reuse them to make this yeah. mellow corn. Yeah. Sounds cool. Not bad. Well, who uses used bourbon barrels? Uh, Scottish, Scotches? Scotches, Irish. Hmm. Yeah, so before, rather than sending them over there. Yeah. So this is bottled and bond. So it's got to be aged minimum four years in a federally bonded warehouse. Okay. Because who doesn't want the government messing around with the whiskey, right? Mm-hmm. Government. And uh, it's got to be bottled at exactly 100 proof. So we're looking at 100 proof. I like that. I don't get a lot of ethanol on the nose. Want to talk about the color? Yeah, let's take a look at the color. Look at that color. That looks like uh, vegetable oil. Vegetable oil. That thing looks more like mellow corn oil. <laughs> <laughs> the legs are kind of like... Uh, your windows during a heavy downpour, they're just kind of sloppy legs, right? I don't see any legs. It's yeah, it just kind of runs down. Oh yeah, right away. It's moving let's taste fast it. too. All right, let's go taste it. On the nose, I'm getting oak, light, light ethanol, and corn. <sighs> oh, what are you getting, Henry? Henry likes the corn. This smells like a dad joke. Very corny. That's a dad joke for you, huh? You like that one? That's about it. Some hay. I think it's... I oh, you hit it on the head. I'm getting only corn. I smell oak, but it smells like it's used oak. Not that I can tell. <laughs> <that happens>. no. <laughs> but corn, oak... I, I can see the hay, or smell the hay. Hey. But not much to it. Not very complex. No. And they say that it's over the, that it's aged longer than the four years it has to be to be bottled and bond, but it smells really young. Maybe that's because the barrels were used and it didn't smooth it out as much as it, it would. Maybe. Would. Huh? Eh. All right, let's taste it. Another corny dad joke for you. Mmm. Mmm. 
That's extremely surprising. What's surprising? It's wonderful. It's hot. It's hot for 100 proof. Really? Yeah, it's, it's hot for 100 proof. I didn't think it was hot. What'd you get on the palate? Corn. Corn, that's it. That's it. I got But there was more to it. For me, banana was a little more prominent than the corn, but I think that's all I got was banana and corn. I think it's not very complex. No. But it's tasty. And I didn't get any burn except for right at the swallow on the tip of my that's tongue. That's what I got. In the palate, it was nice. I got some bananas, a very loose mouthfeel. Bananas mm. and corn. The finish, I get cinnamon, cream corn, oak. Wow. I get I get some cinnamon on the finish, but... Just I, right at the beginning, right up front. Right after that. I'll, I'm just getting corn. Corn. Finish, I get, I can see the... Swish it around your mouth. Tell me if you don't get banana while you're rolling it all over your tongue, all over everywhere. It's probably a power suggestion at this point, but yeah. it's bananas. B A N A N A S. No, it's mellow corn. Oh, yeah. you know, I looked for this for about a year and couldn't find it until I went to Wine Some More and they had it. Really? And it was it was like thirteen, fifteen bucks. I tell you, I would walk by this probably still, but there was something it's good. that that made me want to try it. I saw a posting on Reddit that actually made me want to try it. Oh, really? I did, yeah. And now we have. And now we have. And actually, I'm really glad that we did because typically these budget bottles, I'm not crazy about. But this is what I could get into. You would buy this? I would buy this. Would you keep it in stock? No, but I would buy it every once in a while. Really? Yeah. What would you do with it? Look at it. Probably hide it behind another bottle. I would. Because it's really hideous. I don't think I would ever reach for it. I think that'd be my problem. I don't think I'd ever reach for it. No, I mean, and it's not awful, but it's just, I don't I like know it. if it would be good in a, in a, in a cocktail. Not, I don't ever mix, but I don't think I would even make anybody else's cocktail with it. I'll tell you what, when, when times are tough and you see a bunch of those mellow corn bottles on my bar, <laughs> uh, I'll be, I'll still be happy. I'll go to the other neighbor's house. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not awful. I've, I've had whiskeys I'd like less. But there's, it's like nothing to it. It's almost like the vodka of whiskeys. It's very basic. But it's not bad, that's the thing. Like, we've had some that were just bad. Yeah, there's no bad notes in there, but it just, uh, I mean, I kind of like the banana on the palate. The finish is boring, the nose is boring, the color is boring, the legs are boring, everything's boring. Well, yeah, it's like $12, so I'm, like... I'm bored. Yeah, well, it's not the most exciting whiskey. You're not going to go brag to your friends tomorrow that... Or friend, uh, that, you, that, <laughs> <laughs> that you had mellow corn last night. Mm. But uh, I'm telling you, it's not bad. And we've had some bad ones. But it's not good. Oh, no, it's not good, but it's not bad. It's not Evan Williams' Bob and Bond bad. Or uh, Granddad bad. I like the old Evan Williams better. Like, the Dickel bad. Blech. Or dare I even bring up Kirkland Small Batch. Blech. No, this blows that away. Blows it away. Toilet water blows that away. So, <laughs> you got anything else you want to add about this? No, you know what? I think this is one that you should, if you have twelve bucks, go try it, and I think you'll be kind of pleasantly surprised. You could always mix it after, but at the same time, you know, I, I might drink this. You never know. I'll leave it here. We'll see. No, later. please don't. No, it's too ugly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Well, if you if you've had this, let us know. Like, subscribe, comment. And I got uh, one thing I want to add on. I don't know where the quote's from, but I liked it a lot. And it was, don't use a big word when a singularly unloquacious and diminutive linguistic expression will satisfactorily accomplish the contemporary necessity. And with the time you save, you could drink more whiskey. I don't understand a word you just said to me. Thanks for coming. I like turtles. <laughs>